Hello and welcome, and welcome back to the Wingman's Path to Positivity. If it's welcoming you back, thank you so much for coming back. You know how much I love to share positive energy practices with you, and I appreciate you sharing them with me, taking the time and sharing it with me. If you're new here, my name is Michael Gross. I wrote the book, The Wingman's Path to Positivity, and just started practicing the practices. Was joined by a lot of like-minded individuals, perhaps like yourself, looking to bring more positive energy into their lives. And what we found is what we call a rising tide of positive, of positive energy. That's how great it's been for us. We only hope the same for you. Let's get to today's practice, which is what am I to learn from this? What am I to learn from this? I love saying this, and I'm sure you've said this before. I'm sure you've said it. If you haven't, say it anyway. The train's coming by telling you, reminding you. Say it. What are you supposed to say? What am I to learn from this? So let me tell you how this came up this weekend. It's been pretty interesting for me. So le- over the last week, I'd say since, since a week ago, anytime I've thought of something, it's manifested, rel- it's manifested relatively quickly. I thought of someone I haven't seen in, in six months, and the next day they're in the woods with me. I thought of, my, I have a, a, some baseball memorabilia I took to a, to a store to, to, to see about what it's worth or whatever. And as I got in the car, they, they were talking about this player who hasn't played in, I don't know, 30, 40 years on the radio. Three or four other situations happened to come up last week. And every time I'm like, wow, this is crazy, right? Everything I'm thinking, I'm manifesting immediately. I'm obviously in, in tune with my alignment, right? I'm very in tune with my, with my vortex. I am, in, I am aligned with myself at this point, right? I am from a high vibration all as well, anything I'm thinking of, right? So I turned to my wife, I said, we're gonna, we're gonna practice this. We're gonna test this theory a little bit. I said, I'm gonna think about receiving money, right? I'm going to think about receiving money. So we started to come up with, she said, well, you might as well think big. And I said, no, I'm not sure I could wrap my head around money coming into me, the big, big money coming in. So we came up with the number of, I came up with the number of 24,415. So I said, all right, uh, $24,415 is coming my way, right? $24,415 is coming my way. But I'll tell you what I knew. What, what, what am I to learn from this? Let me explain how what am I to learn from this came up, right? Because, by the way, the first time I ever heard this practice came to me from the lips of Bernie Siegel, uh, Dr. Bernie Siegel. Bernie, as he likes to be called, and, 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 you know, what could be better than hearing it from him, right? The, 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 the best-selling author, the guru. As a matter of fact, the day he said it, we were taking a walk with his dogs, and the day he actually said it to me, I was up visiting my sister, who lived in the same town as Bernie, and and I, oh, that day there was a magazine uh, uh, cover with him on it, and it talked about how the, uh, the the publication Watkins had named him the 14th most spiritually influential person on earth at that moment, right? It gave whatever he was saying to me a little more gravitas, right? It gave it a little more gravity, right? So when he said to me, what am I to learn from this? And he told me, Joseph Campbell said it to him. Now, of course, you've heard it so many different places by now. But for me, the first time I had heard it was what am I to learn from this? So I'll tell you what happened. So all weekend now I'm saying, oh, $24,415. But clearly my vibration on the five other things that happened last week that I manifested so quickly last week, I didn't give another thought to, right? All of a sudden I'm saying the words, I'm thinking about $24,415. It, it's so bizarre, right? What am I to learn from this? Because obviously my vibration had unquestionably changed. When I thought about the other people, I didn't think about them constantly. It's like if you're ordering a pizza or you're ordering from, you're sitting down at the diner and ordering food, you're not going to go back into the kitchen after you order it. You're going to order it and know it's coming to you. So those other things that I thought about, I don't know if I knew they were coming, but they were in my conscience and what you think about, you become about. This is in my conscience. So I guess what I have to do is give it the vibration of of um, it matters, but not too much. It matters, but not too much. Anyway, I've got a lot more to learn with this, and maybe you do too, but I know one thing's for certain. Asking yourself the question, what am I to learn from this, will get your mind moving in a positive direction. It gets my mind moving whenever I ask it, and today, that is most certainly gonna be my question 
to myself, my mantra for myself. Well, you know, sometimes I use it as an affirmation. Sometimes I like to ask myself a question. However, you know, the game here is to get it into your subconscious in as many different ways as possible. Right? That's the game. Because neuroscience will tell you, of course, right? Once you get it into your subconscious, your subconscious will lead you in the direction of achieving your goal or manifesting your desires, right? I thank you so much for practicing with me today and every day and really helping me and helping yourself, right? And helping others around you. Because when we do it for ourselves, we do it for others as well to keep positive as we go through life, right? As we go through the battles of life. Anyway, have a great day today. Thanks for practice with me. Don't forget, starting January 3rd, we have the 21-day challenge. The 21-day challenge for $21, it will, you, you will practice for five minutes. The challenge is to practice positivity for five minutes a day with me and the coalition. We have about 25 of us who practice, and I can tell you, it's like the core of the wingman's path. You know, it's the wingman coalition. It is the core. So if you, if you can join that challenge, I urge you to do so. It'll make for a fabulous 2022. Have a great day, and I will see you again tomorrow. Enjoy.